So I am here with the Council General of Belize, Mr. Roland York. Mr. Roland York, how are you today? Pretty good, thank you. Pretty good. Very rewarding day for us today. Yes. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with the Los Angeles Sentinel. So I want to get your take on this event, um, the Film Commission, uh, all the people that are gathered here today to celebrate Belize, to celebrate the beautiful country, and to, yeah, come together. The population we're seeing here today is a cross-section of folks in the film industry, Belizeans who reside in, in, in Los Angeles, they are part of the, our diaspora, and you have, in fact, folks who are just investors interested. And then you have the individual that will say from time to time to you, I must visit Belize. Yeah. Now tell me a little bit about this event and how it came together today. We have so many people here enjoying the beautiful sun. Uh, but tell me about this event in particular. Well, what you're taking or what you're a part of is an annual event, uh, Belize Introduction to Hollywood and Hollywood Introduction to Belize. And it's something that we try to do once a year. This is the third annual event. We bring all our friends, all our relationships uh, from the industry and let them know that Belize is a production-friendly country. Uh, we have incentives and rebates, and we have what we believe is the prettiest backdrop for your story or live event. Well, speaking of the scenery in Belize, tell us what it's like there. Does it give us a tropical vibe, a, a utopia? What is it like there? You know that, uh, that saying that uh, we live where you vacation, <laughs> that perfectly describes Belize. And uh, you know, there are many beautiful places in the world, but Belize uh, is a good spot because it brings together some of the wonderful things that people look for uh, when they go on vacation all in one location. One of the most unique things is that it's not an island. Mm -hmm. When you usually say Belize, people think it's an island, but it's on the mainland of Central America. Mm -hmm. You can drive to Belize from any part of North America mm -hmm. or South America. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I think is unique, it's predominantly English speaking uh, country in this area. So when you talk about production, you don't have to learn a new language. You can come here or come to Belize, speak English, communicate with vendors, actors, uh, behind the scenes people, the same way you would do in the U.S. So I think that gives us an edge. Once people know more about us, I think our country will truly take off as a production destination. For instance, uh, the best diving in the world. We have the world's uh, second largest barrier reef next to the Great Reef in Australia. And our reef is living and kicking, you know, the, the, the Blue Hole is uh, probably the ultimate diving uh, spot in the world. And uh, of course, uh, hundreds of small islands along the coast of Belize. Mm -hmm. And then you have the inland stuff, the Mayan temples, and of course the rainforest, the flora and the fauna. So uh, it's, it's a wonderful package. It's a very small country, but our best resource, I'd say, is our people. It's a melting pot uh, of different uh, races of people, and they're all very friendly and very welcoming, uh, and that is why we are so proud of Belize as a product. When you speak of an Afrocentric country and the diaspora, mm -hmm. how important is it to maintain um, that here in the United States uh, with so many, with there being such a huge population of Belizeans here in America? What's interesting for us, wherever Belizeans reside, they tend to reside within an African American community in Harlem, in Chicago, in Los Angeles. And so if you look at the culture in Belize, in terms of young people in particular, you'd figure they were from 105th and Central. Yeah. You figure they were from 127th and Lenox in Harlem, mm -hmm. right? Because the music, the style of dressing and all, it's very much a part of the American scene. And so it's hard to distinguish a Belizean from, a, from an American. In Belize, they even here. It's interesting that you say that. Yes, Belize is a black or Afrocentric country right in the middle of Central America. Mm -hmm. It has heavy Caribbean influences and why I believe that it's important for Hollywood to know uh, about Belize is because it allows us as black people to tell our stories. It's another place where we have a canvas that we can paint our stories, tell our, our, our lives, identify our people and define who we are in a total different setting than what you're probably used to seeing. Yeah. I tend to know them based in 
other things like the way they walk, <laughs> okay. uh, their expressions, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Kimbo in. Um, yeah, I can't say the, Tell the us dress about code. That, the Kimbo. You know, Kimboing is an African phrase that is used in tr throughout the Caribbean. Uh -huh. When someone says, "Look at her, she's Kimboing," she's Kimboing. Meaningly, she has her arm, her hand, uh -huh. on her hips. Okay. Right, and I discovered early in, in, in New York <laughs> that that was an African phrase. Wow. Right, and so we share so many similarities. Uh -huh. But for us, we we just appreciate being a part of the African-American community. So what is your expectation of the Belizeans here in America to kind of get the word out about um, this whole endeavor? Well, what we would like to do was through events like this to get, to get them to know that this is actually happening. One, two, they could be a part of it because we have a lot of Belizeans that are here that are in the industry. So that's a way for them to connect also. And three, the bigger this thing gets, the more Belizeans can benefit from it directly or indirectly. We hope to engage uh, stakeholders in the film industry uh, so that uh, they can know what Belize has to offer in terms of the film industry and hopefully uh, get some folks down to Belize uh, making movies and making commercials and what else we can do. I'll be contented when 60% of our population is able to say, I'm going to Belize for the September celebrations, right? To us, the month of September is terribly important. Mm. So we need to continue the interaction, the relationship. And there's a strong relationship that can be improved. There's more to it. There's more that can be done. But given the time, we will be successful at it. If you count, you'll probably find that there are probably as many or more Belizeans living in the United States than they are at home. Wow. So that makes you understand how important um, the folks living in the diaspora are. We're young in the industry, but we've done some amazing things so far. Shout out to the LA Sentinel <laughs> from Belize. Ah, shout out to the Los Angeles Sentinel. Big up from Belize. As a Dana Bakewell, 19, God, I can't tell you how long I've known Danny. Uh, don't say it. I won't, I won't. Brenda was my darling, of course. But the Sentinel, see, I came to the Sentinel. I bought my first newspaper from the Sentinel in wow. 1972. You know why? why? Having lived in Harlem, right, I was exposed to the Amsterdam news. The first thing I said to my brother, take me where I can get a hold of a black newspaper. Wow. And he took me to 42nd and Central. The rest is history. I've never missed a copy.